Okay, now it is fine. Yeah, now it's fine. Okay. Am I audible? Okay. Uh, yes, yes, it is audible. So, so let me start our fifty-third webinar. So, on behalf of SBM University, a hearty welcome to one and all. To all the participants, those who have joined in our 53rd webinar of NASBM University. And this webinar is conducted by the School of Law, which is newly established from this 2022-23rd session. So on this occasion, my sincere gratitude to our honorable president and founder of ASBM University, Professor Vishwajit Patnaik, our revered Vice Chancellor, Professor Kalyan Shankar Rai, our Pro Vice Chancellor, Professor Phalgul Niranjana, our eminent speakers, participants, and faculty members. A hearty welcome to our 53rd webinar on the topic Career on Law, which is conducted by the School of Law, ASB University. Our object is our object is to make aware the participants about the multiple opportunities available to the law graduates and the wide scope of recent legal education. So today we have with us four eminent speakers, Professor K. C. Rao, Advocate S. K. Patri, Advocate Nilu Mohan and corporate legal professional Sriya Tripathi. And total timing of the webinar is one hour. And I hope we must stick to our time. So at the end, at the end of the webinar, we will have a question and answer session as well as we will have some discussion. So in the beginning, I request Advocate Nilu Mohan, Advocate Supreme Court of India, she has also done her master's, master's in law from Columbia Law School, UL, USA, and having a lot of experience in handling cases of Competition Commission of India, as well as company law tribunals. So I welcome Madam Nilu Mohan. Please share your experience with the participants. Nilu Mohan. Uh, thank you, sir. First of all, uh, I'd like to thank you as well as everybody at ASBM for this very warm welcome and for inviting me to speak at this event. Now with uh, just about 10 years of practice, there's only so many things I can say about what a career in law would mean because as I would think anybody and everybody here knows that the gestation period for any lawyer in whatever sphere that you use the law in is quite long. But I'll give you my short little experience so far that I've had. So the funny story of how I actually got into law because my mother used to taunt me when I was in the sixth and seventh standard saying that you're very good at back answering, you should become a lawyer, you should become a lawyer. So that's actually how this entire law career even struck in my mind where I was brought up in a household where traditionally everybody became an engineer or a doctor or something of that sort. But then the more that I looked into it, and then the more that I, um, when I started looking at a preparation for a law school entrance, et cetera, you realize that law is just so much more than speaking, than just being able to give it back to somebody in that one second. And I think today's panel will give that entire sort of bird view, um, a bird's eye view for that, because we have people who are in the policy field, we have people who are practicing, we have people who are teaching, so it shows you how diverse having a law degree can be. So, of course, I started with corporate law and then I realized, OK, this is not what I want. Then I switched to litigation. And even in litigation, there's so many types of litigation. So every year, I think you can say that it is a trial and error method. It's a way in which you realize where your strengths lie, where your weaknesses lie, and to work towards that. And the five-year law school course that I did at ILS Pune 
assisted to a great deal in that because what they give you is an integrated law uh, degree which is i got a i got my degree in bsl llb which is a bachelor in social legal studies along with my llb i understand that asbm gives bba as well as ba etc which is again a five year law course so what these introductory two years plus the three years of llb or however that the course structure is um, is divided basically gives you a feel of the different aspects that a law degree can touch on without telling you that section 1 says so it tells you that this is the big compass the big canvas in which you're going to work and law is basically a just a set of principles that will you will apply to these different spheres whether it be that you're assisting the solicitor general to give an opinion on uh, give an opinion on the legality of law whether you're sitting on the other end and actually drafting this law whether you are sitting on the other end of the bench challenging this law on behalf of a party so what a law degree does is equips you with all the skills and facets for all of this now think that you think that okay maybe is this and also another thing that you have to keep in mind is that you're not going to become successful or you're not going to fail in 4 years or 5 years or even 10 years in fact you will just have to this is just a waiting game it's a lot of hard work it's a lot of uh, it's a lot of time it's a lot of sleepless nights but you realize it's the small wins that matter and so what i would say that this career requires the most in whatever sphere that you go into whether you're a woman whether you're a man is patience and nothing else so i i am right now in a family of lawyers my husband is a practicing lawyer my father in law is a lawyer we have a whole bunch of lawyers in our family so i've seen different amounts of effort going in i've seen different tragic stories being around me i obviously work in delhi now so i see different peers seniors etc you have to wait it out there is nothing more to it than waiting it out and working hard at it every single day and of course college is great the five year course is excellent in terms of the fact that it equips you hello sorry yeah um it's excellent in terms of the fact that it gives you five years to set in so you will sometimes i used to think that hey, if i'm spending five years in law school i may as well get a medical degree out of this and save lives but uh, you don't realize that the five years is very essential for to ease you into what the rest of your career is and i always thought when i graduated that it might be difficult for women to succeed in a litigating career which is why i probably lean towards the corporate side when i started my career but it's as tough for a woman or a man you know so you now i practice in delhi so the obviously the the ratio of man is to woman is much higher than say another city like bhubaneswar etc but it's not like the avenues are closed just because you are a woman in this sphere of law and i'm sure my panel members Shreya is here, so she can speak about a woman in the policy sector as well. And I'm sure the I'm sure the professors here, as well as my other senior colleague, can explain what it is interacting with women in their sphere of work. So it's tough. It's tough for everybody. It's tough for a man. It's tough for a woman. It's tough for a child getting into law. It's tough for everybody, but it's it's rewarding in different senses. The remuneration comes at different points in time, depending on the career path that you choose. but i can assure you one thing that the intellectual rewards that you get with every small assignment that you do in whatever sphere of the law that you are going to do in is far disproportionate to the amount of money that you may be amassing at that point in time whether it's 10000 on a retainer or whether it's 10 lakhs for a small brief so um so i encourage everybody here to please give it time give it patience and of course give it your best and your hard work and hopefully things will fall into place thank you mr das that's that's all for my end so i think you're on mute so uh, we're not able to hear you dr das please unmute yourself okay okay sir aha uh-huh. so thank you madam nilu so you have shared your experience and you have also encouraged the other participants regarding the career in law so thank you once again so now i request our eminent speaker professor k c rawal 
director school of law gujarat university a law professor of international report he has immense contribution to the legal education he has uh, legal education he is the author of number of law books and he has published number of articles in various international as well as national journals and he is also a distinguished speaker of law and he has contributed a lot to the legal education because mostly he delivers keynote speak keynote speech in our different international as well as national seminars so i welcome professor kesi rawal sir please join and please share your opinion and encourage the participants professor kesi rawal sir thank you sir for the introduction uh, dear students my friends and colleague now the legal profession if we look into little bit back who are the freedom fighters most of are the lawyers and advocates who drafted the constitution and who are the social activist they are the person who make something change in the society maybe socially or legally for last 25 or 30 years bar council of india has started the integrated law five years law and five years law is a different between 3 years and 5 years not only in curriculum but in the manner method and we can say the expression i visited most of the state of the india and found that those who joined 3 years law and those who did hard work they sign out no doubt about it but looking to the deterioration in the quality and some other thing the bar council started we have 5 years because there is a laborers and hard working and from the very first year they are taught labor uh, le legal subject so it's a uh, thing we can say from very beginning you are wedded with the law so not like you do the graduation from any other faculty and later on you switch over towards the law no it is not that you are imbibed with the law and day by day you are getting more and more knowledge at the same time if the of the law on the first generation law teacher as well as the lawyer in my family so it little bit difficult to me to be a law teacher and advocate in initial era but nowadays it is very easy my area is what is the career or what is the opportunity for the law students then let i will discuss then later on if someone have a query then i'm here to so to meet and uh, discuss with the first of all we know the lawyers law degree is compulsory required for the legal profession and legal profession have is sky is the limit you are knowing in usa who is the highest tax payers the lawyer is the, the highest tax payers in number as well as the, in the amount not the uh, not the doctors but the lawyers if you do not want to be a lawyer but you got the sanad then you can also go for a judge in a traditional court or you can become a judge advocate in a military court or we can say when the court martial procedure was taken by the defense by the ministry you can also be see with the legal advisor legal advisor legal consultant and not only the legal consultant it doesn't mean the one term you may be a medical legal consultant you may be a social legal consultant you may be eco legal consultant you may be environmental legal consultant so many type all the profession have a concern with the law so there is not a single profession or a business which is not attached with the law but it depend on the mindset of the one who is busy with the law that the which profession or the which area is more uh, like to him as well as the it is more fruitful to him and one can see not only the civil labor criminal or taxation matter so many areas are there when we can be sign out one can also busy uh, want to be a, a service matter then he can become a law officer or a legal officer in a private or in gov corporate sector or in a government at the same time one have a law degree can also become a good administrator in any institution at the same time one can start the ngo or one can motivate someone to have a ngo and become a legal advisor or we can say in short 
what the any graduate can do it also available to the law graduate so the thing which i narrated earlier it is a additional where no other graduate can enter but only the law graduate can enter at the same time a law teacher or a law graduate can become a good social legal counselor and counseling is wrongly interpreted in our country it is not to or uh, speak loudly and compel others but to convince others why one have some delicate behavior why one is not doing something why one is busy with such type of act then what is the social reaction social concern what is the surrounding area what is the social environment then one can become a good social legal counselor and now a day idea one can become a counselor one can become an arbitrator one can become also a specialized arbitrator in everywhere we see now arbitrator arbitration branch is also uh, initiated by our ministry also as well as the court also and in that uh, concern we also arbitration and conciliation act uh, 1990 uh, 426 was enacted so burden of the court may be reduced and you will not believe that fee of the arbitrator you can't imagine what is the fees at the same time they are also rendering the justice you can become a good uh, journalist legal journal legal reporter so many website are busy with the law they are suppose this a law life so they also require a person have a legal background and you can also become a legal reporter of a traditional newspaper and one thing is more when you are a lawyer and you put the a uh, name plate in your flat or in your bungalows and the other neighbors see who what is your advocate so you also look you very differently because you have a legal knowledge we can become a good citizen also because we are knowing what is our rights and duty so we never try to violate the right of others and we always try to be a good citizen and now we day earlier lawyer practice was limited now after the wto ipr environment trade law international trade law international arbitration is a sky is the limit and ipr you see the very lucrative practitioners are there and very few there is a gap between the demand and the supply and ipr there is also a specialized in ipr there is also a specialization pattern trademark design semiconductor one can give for a geographical education so no hard it once my cyber security is also a uh, uh, we can say it is there needed the so many consultant at the same time one can become editor of a good law journals so thing is whether you like to be a law subject and want to be set up your career in a law then sky is the limit and once you join a five year law then from very first year you have to be busy with the research work or uh, or we can say you have to go for a internship with the ngo trial court trial court advocate uh, appellate court advocate appellate court and corporate office thing is whether you have a zeal to do hard work and so it was said that the legal professor is a jealousy mistress you must be busy with the law books and the legal matter so if you ready to work hard then none can compete you and sky is the limit when you can achieve another thing is if after getting the law degree it doesn't require and it may not be suit for all the person to be a lawyer or to be a teacher then look it my grandmother told when i was young say not a single profession or a business is barren it depends how you take it how you inculcate it how you respect how you work for that so it gives you and it is a give and take if you work hard you will get more maybe in practice more money in in examination more mark so it's a bilateral relation it's not a unilateral it's a bilateral so thing is if you someone say not not a single person become a lawyer or law teacher in fact what it is not it not a connection it doesn't require to examine the dna 
of our forefathers, whether they are lawyer or not. No, I'm the first generation law graduate in my whole family. For last, uh, not a single person did the LLB degree. And I did it. When I joined, so many people say, hey, kon kare, how, how you can do, kon jayega, kyaon kere ko case dega, and local language they are saying. I say, I want to start a new way. I don't want to run my life in the ruts. I want to create a new road. And this is the challenge. And the WTO provide the challenges as well as the opportunities. If we can convert the challenges in opportunity, then none can defeat the lawyer profession because it is a noble profession. So thing is whether we are ready to do hard work and hard work in appropriate way, in appropriate manner under the able guidance. One say, I want, I'm doing hard work, but where you are doing hard work? Hard work, it doesn't think you require a laborious work, intellectual hard work. And introspection, examination, how you are doing, what you are doing, and what you are getting. So assessment. So many law schools have a continuous assessment. There is no any internal assessment. There is no any mid-sem assessment. Only continuous assessment. And continuous assessment make up vigilant every moment. And oh, you go to this law school or any law school because ultimately the all the institution is here to build up a career of a law student whether one can be admitted or not one can like or not but anywhere you can go challenges are remain same guidance are available it requires how you are dedicated and we know first we have to sow to the seeds in a soil once we have to conceive the idea, then later on embryo will be developed. So once we make up a mind to build up my career in law, then other answers are automatically come to you with the challenges. And the challenges is came, and there is a one idiom, those who have a birth, there is a death. That means challenges are there, that means solutions are always there. There is not a single problem in the world is there or in universe where solution is not available. But matter is whether you want to solve it or whether you have a solution or not or whether you want to find out the solution is there or not. And another thing is if you are ready to do or be busy with the legal education then Think positive and make up mind and see all the things in the legal ideology. See the movie in the legal sense. Enjoy the entertainment, but always look with the legal sense. And once you make up your mind, then it is very difficult to be defeated. So thing is, where there is a will, there is a way. And, and I also say you, don't blindly follow anyone, any neighbor, any relative, any or your family members. Directly go to the concern institute, meet the teachers, meet the lawyer, meet the judges who are available to you. Then you opt the stream which you want to build up your career. Because then you are responsible for the fact which you met. So, you should not give a chance to anyone or you should not be blame anyone. Go to the school or law school or the law college where you want to get admission. See what is the facility, what is the hardware, what is the software and whether you are able to get admission and getting after getting admission, you are ready to do hard work or not. If you meet the challenge, then sky is the limit. So thing is, once you have to ready yourself, then convince yourself, then make the assessment. Not only looking to the movie. There is no any such part which is depicted in the movie. Suppose you say Jolly LLB, there is no part working same way it is depicted in the movie.
but it is for entertainment. So don't keep in that ideology. Go to the law school, meet law teachers, meet the lawyers. Maybe a teacher is a practice uh, as an existing teacher or a retired teacher, judges. Then you got the idea. And if there is an option, suppose there is a BA LLB in five years, BBA LLB, become LLB, BSC LLB. So which basic area is suitable to you? Because it is just a primary knowledge as per the requirement of the Bar Council of India. Then also go for whether there is a owner is offer or not, whether you are fit for owner and the institution is offering the owner's degree. Then there is also a specialization, owners in criminal law, owners in civil law, owners in IPR, owners in environment law. Then choose it, even though it may be selected in the last four semester as per the Bar Council of India rules. So before entering in a ground, you should know the rule of the game. Then you select the game and enter in the playground. Then there is no hope to be failed and every step you are going to high and high and none can defeat you. So this is the time given to me, 10 minutes. So I try to give my experience for the last 30 years in a legal education, purely and properly in the university and higher education. So uh, I'm thankful to Professor Das to given me an opportunity to give my idea to the aspirant students as well as those of some parents, maybe the are listening there. Uh, thank you for that. I hope uh, I roll, I play my role accordingly. Thank you, sir. Sir, you are not audible, sir. Okay. So, thank you, Professor Rawal. Is it audible? Okay. Okay, sir. So, you have widened the scope of legal education yeah. because you have huge experience since last 30 years and you are also you are also the director of a law school where integrated law is there. So you are also encouraging your, encouraging your students. So whatever you have shared with the participants, particularly the students as well as the parents. So no doubt it is very, very interesting and also helpful. So once again, I thank to Professor Rao. So now I thank request. You, thank you. Uh, Okay, thank you, sir. Sir, so now sir, I request. I'm at a, sir, one minute. I'm, I'm at now another meeting is there. So can I leave this meeting, sir? Okay, okay, okay sir. Thank you. Oh, no problem, sir. Okay, you can, thank you can you, leave. Thank okay, okay, thank sir. you, sir. Okay. So now I request our Madam Sriya Tripathi, a corporate legal practitioner, a senior resident fellow of Bidhi Center of Legal Policy, New Delhi. So Madam has lot of experience in working with different legal firm as well as corporate office. So now I request uh, Madam Sriya Tripathi to share his experience with the participants. Sriya Madam. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, thank you so much Vinesh for uh, calling me. Um, before me, like the people who have already gone, especially like Neelu ma'am, she called herself a fledgling in the legal sector because she has 10 years of experience. I have about four. So uh, I can only tell you things from my very, very brief experience in the in this field. Uh, I actually graduated from National University of Odessa in 2018. And since then, I have been working with the uh, Vidhi Center for Legal Policy. Uh, we are a legal think tank and we work on different aspects of law like we have various verticals such as uh, tax law, um, public law, corporate law and judicial reforms which is what I do. Uh, my work completely revolves around uh, different aspects of the judiciary. So for example judicial infrastructure, judicial diversity, judicial transparency and over the past like four years i have been working on independent as well as engaged projects in this aspect um 
as far as like how i reached here honestly it was pretty much a trial and error situation um i uh, i understand like people here much more senior than me have spoken about how you know law was not that much of a thing when they were choosing law it wasn't that much of a thing for me either i was uh, very much doing engineering coaching and i it was essentially after one month of engineering coaching that when i decided this is not for me i just cannot do this and pretty much next door was the clat coaching which is how i decided to do it and so more than like actual law legal education itself i was very interested in the coaching that goes into the legal education like i liked legal reasoning almost i liked analytical reasoning and that's how i ended up in this uh, sector and even like at that point of time i also did lie to my parents i said i'll do corporate law i'll get a lot of money uh, i don't know if they actually agreed or fell for it or more considered that okay i was keen enough to lie about it so uh, they agreed to do this and even like in the first two years of uh, law school i realized that okay corporate law or like proper litigation was not for me uh, both my parents are also professors so you know research and learning and writing has been part of the family sort of so i very um, early on by around third year i understood that i want to do legal research i want to work at ngos and uh, i have interned at a lot of them uh, mostly in delhi so in i have interned in a lot of different aspects of this so for example i have interned with uh, a place called pld partners for law and uh, development they work on women rights law i have worked with uh, chri commonwealth human rights initiative they work on public uh, prison reforms uh, police reforms and other aspects uh, such as this judicial reforms as well and finally through this trial and error method i have somehow landed up in vidhi and even like within vidhi um judicial reforms as such uh, like judicial reforms is an extremely niche uh, matter and it's not like i i mean i i am passionate about judicial reforms now but uh, nobody in their childhood is passionate about judicial reforms right like it's a thing that comes to you and i have pretty much stumbled upon it but yeah in uh, terms of work like i feel like this is a very uh, if you're very interested in like writing learning researching and uh, to essentially like learn every day i'm not saying that any aspect of law does not make you do that but in my profession this is literally my job to every day read uh, and write and uh, yeah i have written a couple of reports on judicial budgeting uh, i've written on judicial infrastructure which is like again a much more uh, niche version of uh, judicial reforms because uh, like we are exploring how having a better infrastructure will essentially make the judiciary more welcoming for the general public how it will make it more uh, convenient to get access to justice uh, i have worked on judicial uh, transparency which is in terms of how uh, you know how the courts implement the rti act upon themselves or with uh, these are be with other public institutions right i have also worked on judicial diversity which is a pet peeve of mine of sorts uh, where we um, we did a report on the women joining the judiciary between like 2007 to 17 so over 10 years the number of women who have entered the judiciary and how that has changed over that time and so so on and so forth as far as like public policy in india is concerned actually in terms of diversity in the sector itself um, there are quite a few women as opposed to a lot of other uh, organizations in my organization specifically most of our team leads are women it's not that we uh, it there is no um, reason for it as such it just has happened that that is that's how it is but yeah public policy as such is kind of slightly more fortunate in terms of uh, diversity as compared to other aspects of the legal profession um and it is again i would like to say if you like to read write and research on a daily basis i think public policy would be a great fit for you um and yeah thank you so much uh, binasa for giving me this opportunity um if there are any questions i'll love to take it up okay okay 
so thank you sriya madam so because your experience is something different from the traditional legal profession so your experience particularly that uh, we should not be confined to only uh, in solving the different litigation or solving the disputes so uh, you want to do research work and that can also be a separate field way of our legal education so thank you once again madam tripathi so now uh, i request our last but not least our eminent speaker as well as advocate sk patri an eminent supreme court advocate particularly he has experience in handling cases of railway railway banking insurance and mostly cases in the appellate court and he has also experience as a faculty in odisha judicial academy as well as gopabandhu academy he is also visiting faculty to different law school of india so he has lot of experience in handling different disputes as well as in teaching so he has wide experience so i i request uh, advocate patri to share his experience regarding the career in law so mr patri thank please. you sir am i audible and visible sir yes yes audible and visible sir इंटरेस्ट ऑल्सो what i want to say to young lawyers and young judiciary members or anybody who is interested in law law is the subject law is one of the professions that is the, you can say the king of the professions i can say it is the king or raja dhiraj king of kings why i say so because as you go in go any part of the globe you will find five things air water fire sky and other panch bhuta that you have everywhere you find the touch of law, law everywhere even before life after life and present life so law is the presence of everywhere in every bit every blood you will find the law there in any university any educational institution in any medical institution go anywhere without law you cannot run a single thing so i am very proud of my profession i always inspire my students my young friends that law is the first law is the thing can give everything to us but you have to handle with care one of the most senior lawyers whom i am i keep him as my idol mr fs nariman the nariman the judge father he is still alive both are still alive he said once in one of the meeting that is always my basic structure of my my profession like you always know the basic structure of our constitution in case avananda varathi case but basic structure for all lawyers i can say in any profession especially for the lawyers that two things please remember i also try to remember i try to emulate it professional excellence is the number one thing in whatever you do let us be professionally excellent but only professional excellence will not do but you should have moral character those persons whether is a lawyer whether is a judicial officer is a professor anything so far the lawyers who are concentrating on law you have a balance of these two that is the professional excellence and a professional honesty or moral character then sky the limit you can go beyond the sky it's not the limit I, i try to correct myself you can go beyond the sky it has a divinity touch i will tell you little bit story so it will inspire all the lawyers all the persons who are interested in academics of law anything relating to law they will happy there are three noble professions exist in this earth earlier also today also tomorrow also three professions one is the teaching profession second is the doctor's profession i am not talking that in order and third is the nay profession that is our judiciary so people say that ours is sacred ours is the most sacred others say you may become second but i say always with authority i say will always with politeness always with a divine touch without law without the nay 
all the two things will be meaningless. I might have got great teaching education from my my teachers. They are respected. Vidyadana, Mahadana, Mahapunyam. Or you can get the profession of medical profession. They are giving you life next to God. But I always say, because of the lawyers, you give them justice. Suppose a, suppose a law teacher or law professor is involved in a scandal, which has not done at all. It is only the judiciary can redeem his prestige and honor. If he is a great doctor, he is giving life to me, life to my wife, life to my son and children. But whenever he is in problem, some judicial problem is there, some if some great bad allegations come against us, only that, at that time, it is only the judiciary, it is only the lawyers, it is our system can help to redeem his prestige and honor. So always I request to my friends, always give something to the law, you will get in thousand hands. Give in hundred hands to the law, you will get in thousand. Always you will get something, multiples. It, is, it happened in my life also. I come from an ordinary background. I come from a village. But because of the study of law, I am in the Supreme Court. Though I am not a very big lawyer, still I am doing my practice honorably for the last 36 years. So it is the only professor I've seen that can be, it is respected and people also fear also. You can also talk to the Chief Justice of India. He can be also a client after retirement and even an ordinary peer, an ordinary scavenger can come to the care. There is no limit at all. You can go anywhere. This is the only profession we love and it will give you respect. It will give you honor and it will give you money. It will give you, it can give you more chance to travel all over the globe. I have seen also in my short life of my life of 36 years in practice. I'm now 62 plus, but still because of this profession, when I came just in from Madhusudan Law College, which, which I read there also. I read also in my university law college. So I read some many, many, many university also. But this is the only profession I salute from my core, my, my heart. Because of this, I'm traveling from one part of this country to other part of the country, though I'm not traveling ab abroad. So I love this profession as a passion. I cannot say it is an obsession, but it's a passion. And teaching and, and, and also lawyering, both are almost same. But they are, they are because they are, the, they are the core, they are the roots. Then we practice. So this is the profession we should love. If you love it, then we'll get it more. Another aspect I can say, because of my some experience, I've got it. Because of my some experience I got from the university days, and from smallest court to the highest court, I meet a lot of friends. I meet a lot, a lot of friends. And lawyers learn from their friends, from their colleagues, from their litigants, from the judges. Lawyers love everything. They are like ocean. People say jack of all trades is master of none. I differ with some, uh, honorably differ, because jack of all trades, master of some. I cannot say we are experts in air fields. We are not experts in every field. But we are gaining knowledge from other fields of life. So different clients come to us. Different clients come. So I discuss all, all with friends that this is the profession which can take you many heights. It can give you dignity. It can give you humbleness. It can give you authority. You can talk with the police officers. You can talk with the administrators of the top brand of the administrators. Whenever there is some difficulty, when people are suffering, your human rights problems are there. I did my human rights from under my great professor, Binar sir. So, so everything, if whenever there is something, injustice, anything up happening, you cannot, you cannot, you cannot keep silent. Over the world, not only in India, not only in our state, in Odisha, lawyers are the always born leaders. They have given independence not only to our nation, every nation, every nation on earth, you can say, it is only the lawyers are the leaders. They are the best of the parliamentarians the other day. Today, they are somehow, they are not in this so much of light, limelight because after the National Law University has come up, so now the lawyers are now taking its rightful place. So time has come. You have to be adept with law. And if you know the law properly, people will love you. People will respect you. People will fear you. And you will be leaders. And you will be helpful to them. You can help with the downtrodden of the society. You can solve the tribals. They are, they are being always at the bottom head of our country, though the laborers, they are hard not getting some proper justice. The farmers are also fighting for their lands and other, other rights. So it is the only lawyers at the hours, and it is also, we should salute our teachers because of them, we get the basic things of law. They are always updating us. Lawyers are practicing it. 
authors. So it is the lawyers. I always salute whoever is practicing law, who are also teaching law, who are also studying law, who are doing some research. They can have some huge fields. They can have law journalists. They can also be law officers. If you are a good lawyer, even Ambani will come to with a file with his officers. Because lawyers are always the leaders. They may be the business leaders. Because if they have problem, and they certainly have the problems. Bharat ka Rashtrapati also has problem. Prime Minister has a problem. That is only we, they always look to us. Even Indira Gandhi is a great leader. He has to engage Nani Palkiwala. That's Ram Jatmali, you know the great name. It is Ram Jatmali, he is no more, but his name is sister, signing like a rock star. You see Mr. Salve, how he is defending in different parts of the world, in the Pakistan espionage case. Everywhere, everywhere, they are, they are having their heads and shoulders always held high. So it is my request to everybody, in whatever profession they should have, but they should study a little bit of law. I am not saying that all should be lawyers. Every any profession, even as a doctor, even as a teacher, even as a even as a merchant, even a great businessman, he should study law a little bit because law is now an essential feature of everybody's life. It is the lifeline. It is on a blood line. It is your you can say it is your lifeline. So you can it is our life. So I love this profession so passionately. Initial days it may give you something. You cannot be because your life is very hard. But there is a competition in the in the bottom level. But if you go higher and higher, the competition is always less. And there is a vacuum always. There is always vacancy at the top. Like you are traveling in ordinary class, there is so much of frost. Then you go a little bit higher, go to the top class, you will find that very few people are traveling. So I will inspire my friends, those who have told before me also, my respect, respect to them. My honor to them. I also love that. I, I had everything, but there is something wrong in my networking because I'm traveling. I joined late, but I had all the three speakers lately. And I know Vinay sir so nicely. He's a gentleman for excellence, a great teacher. And I'm before all of you because of his request. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Advocate Patri. I think um, it's connected. Is it audible? Yes, sir. You are audible. Mr. Patri. Okay, okay. So, so let me give thanks to Mr. Patri because uh, I think there is some connectivity problem with uh, Patri because now he is traveling. Even if uh, out of his busy schedule, even if he is traveling train still he has joined so special thanks to mr patri and he has also inspired our participants regarding the cream regarding the test regarding the beauty of the legal profession and he is also enjoying the legal profession and he feels proud of his legal profession which is an example for us as well as to the participants so once again, my thanks to Mr. Patri. So now it is time for question and answer and for discussion. So now I request our Professor Sakuntala Madam, Sakuntala Gouda, uh, our, from our ASBM Law School to conclude as well as extend a hearty vote of thanks to our guests as well as to the participants. So my request to our Madam Sakuntala Gaur. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you Thank for you giving me opportunity. So, so is there, there any question? And what is the last? Hello? Am I audible? Yes, ma'am, you are audible. Ma'am, you are audible. 
Okay. So now uh, I am going to uh, asking about any question. If any question is there, then please ask any participant. Have any question? That is there for giving answer. Okay. Then here now the honorable dignitaries, distinguished guests, and our respected presidents and the founder member of ASBM University, Professor Bistrajit Patnaik sir, and our VC Professor Niranjana ma'am is the, uh, and our vice chancellor, uh, the VC sir. And on behalf of uh, them, I'm going to uh, giving our vote of thanks. And I feel immense pleasure to propose a vote of thanks in this virtual platform. Hello, am I audible? Hello? Yes, Hello? you're audible, ma'am. Yes, yes you're audible. Sir. And our first speaker, Nilu Mohan, he is mainly highlighted about your tenure experience about the corporate sector and journey towards their participant, and he is mainly focused on our intellectual reward. So thank you, to ma'am, for such a intellectual idea and intellectual reward about a person which is very necessary for a dignitary citizen. And okay. And our second speaker, speaker Professor Keshi Rawal, uh, he said that where there is a will, there is a way. And in this profession, there is a lots of, and he expands all type of categories of the um, field, which is included in our field of law, like our legal officers, good administrator, and our um, NGOs. You can go for any types of profession. And then he also gave a idea about the ADR and IPR laws. And any person can go for this type of challenges. And he also said about the challenges and the solution of our life and how to we are overcoming from that uh, situation. Thank you, sir, for giving such an expanding and enlightened idea. And now that is our Shreya ma'am, which, which uh, she is mainly from um, our corporate law, but she is giving importance to our writing, written, and research field. She's field is very different than any other, but she is mainly focused on our judicial reform and judicial transparency. That is very important in nowadays, which is the necessary, if there is a uh, necessary of our, what, amendment of law or coding of, there have a necessary of any type of coding or amendment of today's law in our Indian constitution. So thank you, ma'am, for enlightening and impart your idea about your um, knowledge and research. And now I am giving thanks to our Patri sir, who is mainly given importance to our justice system. This justice system is in and we are need in a day to day our life. And he also highlighted the justice, prestige, honor, and dignity is very important. And this is the moral value of all, of all the human beings. So to this profession, we are giving importance and we can, uh, we can change our society through this cor corporate, corporate um, this, through this corporation, uh, sorry, sir, through this corrupt world to the best world. And now I am going to extend my heartiest thanks to our president, sir, Professor Bishwajit Patnaik sir, and our VC sir, and our pro VC madam, and also our Dean School of Law, Mr. Vinay Kumar Das. And now I would like to thank Dean, um, I would like to thank uh, our faculty member, our staff, and our supporting technical staff of the ASBM University. And not, this is not a, but last, but not the least, I would like to thank all the participants and who are giving their support with a, and valuable time and with their, with their patience sharing and make our event success. So now I am going to say,
read about something our university asbm university is a school of law they are introducing the school of law in area of age law school of having ba llb and bba llb honor and also recognized by our bar council of india from the academic session of 2022 to 2023 and so here we are inviting all of uh, the participants and all the members they can come to here and they give their knowledge about this law school so thank you everyone for joining this virtual platform and have a good day jai jagannath thank you madam so now we have completed our webinar on career on law thank you everybody